So to start off this elegant look, I decided to put my hair in a very high bun with some crystal detailing to add a bit of drama and elegance to the whole look. You obviously can curl your hair, live it straight, you can do so many different things, you can even wear a wig if you want to. I just thought that a really high and sleek bun could look really nice with this look and complement it perfectly. So because I'm really pale, I decided to use a white clown paste all over my skin to make me look really washed out and also hide any imperfections. If you have darker skin tone, you don't have to use a white clown paste just because it might be kind of harder to get your skin tone in one color. So you can obviously just use, you know, a few shades lighter foundation and you will get the same effect. I'm also setting my foundation with a little bit of translucent powder just to make it stay in place the whole night. Next step are the brows and I'm actually using a glue stick to glue on my brows and make them look invisible. So what this is gonna do is make you look like you don't have any hair. You might, if you have even like more intense brows than me, you might have to reapply the glue a few times. Just let it dry before you apply another layer. And then I just used the white clown paste which wasn't really that pigmented to hide my brows but you know I use what I had so it's not perfect. If you have better quality clown paste it will look, look a lot better. Um, then I I took my Coastal Sense 252 eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using for the whole look and I took a wet angle brush and draw on my eyebrows. You want to go really far into the inner corner to make you look really really angry as you can see that's kind of the look we're going for. And then I took a dry brush with the same black eyeshadow and applied it on my lower lash line and also right along my lashes on my upper lid and uh, yeah smoked it outwards. And then I took a synthetic brush and dipped it into to the most intense rich red eyeshadow and applied it to the inner corner right where I would get like dark circles also right over the black one and just blended it out this does not have to be perfect if anything it looks even better if it's not perfect so just you know make you look really sick and tired I'm also using the same brush and the same eyeshadow to make the inner part of my lips a lot darker and redder like I've been drinking blood and this is gonna also give you a gorgeous gradient effect that's gonna look perfectly for this look. Then I used my favorite favorite La Mink Dreamy Lashes and applied it on my lashes, natural lashes and uh, this is just gonna add a bit more drama and I love these lashes so much they go with so many different looks as you can see. And then I took just a taupey gray eyeshadow and contoured my cheekbones because vampires are really obviously like skinny and sick looking and um, yeah contouring is a must so I applied it to my cheekbones and also on my temples and jawline and stuff like that and then you want to stick on your fake teeth which gave me a little bit of problems so yeah hopefully you're not gonna have the same problems mine just wouldn't stick but yeah after I've done that I just took the same red eyeshadow and applied it on my teeth like I've been using them to yeah suck blood and stuff so yeah you want to do that and that is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed it and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and I'll talk to you guys soon bye